If you've been browsing your favorite FPV online shops lately, you've probably seen a lot of those dreaded out of stock messages. Flight controllers, ESCs, motors, you name it. Manufacturing and distribution worldwide are a little bit topsy-turvy at the moment. So, instead of sitting around waiting for your regular flight stack to come back into stock, why not take a look at some of the newer manufacturers instead of the usual suspects? That's why today I'm checking out the new Oddity RC F405 Mini 40 Amp Stack. It's available right now, offers excellent value for money, and might just surprise you. So let's take a closer look. Hello, and welcome to the Whirly Bloke channel. Now I have seen Oddity RC's ducted whoops before, but I've never tried their flight stack. So this is very much a first look review of this Oddity RC F405 Mini 40 amp stack and what it has to offer. This flight controller is built around pretty familiar proven components. It's got an STM32 F405 MCU, an ICM 42688P dual sensor IMU, and the onboard OSD is handled by the familiar AT7456E chip, and it's even got an SPL06 barometer. For logging, you get 16 meg of black box memory, which is plenty for flight data, PID tuning, and all the usual post-flight analysis. You get five UARTs for telemetry, receivers, extra sensors, whatever you like, eight motor signal pads, and that leaves plenty of room for extra outputs and expansions. Connectivity on the side here for connecting to computers, regular USB-C. Now power handling is pretty familiar as well. You get a five volt and nine volt back, which are both at two amps. And that's more than enough to cover most receivers, VTXs and cameras. Now you can power this from three to six S, which is pretty standard, but there is an eight S version that's available on request. Now mounting is standard 20 by 20 using M2 screws, but you'll notice the mounting pattern is slightly in board. Now the flight controller itself measures 31 by 30 millimeters and weighs about 6.5 grams. All very nice. On the ESC side, this is a four in one running AM32 firmware and it's rated at 30 to 40 amps continuous and up to 50 to 60 amp peak. So there's plenty of headroom for those bigger motors. It supports PWM one-shot, multi-shot and D-shot 150, 300 and 600 protocols. And again, this is using a 20 by 20 mounting pattern. And you can see those holes are mounted in board, but the board itself is 34 by 42 millimeters. And this comes in at around seven grams. Uh, in the box, you also get all the usual mounting hardware, some gummies, an interconnect cable, and there's a low ESR capacitor that looks like seven, 470 microfarads, 35 volts, which is very reasonable. And you get an XT60 and an XT30 wide connector. Quite thoughtful to use both. Now, altogether, this is a very solid set of well-chosen components. The build quality looks clean and sensible and the price is frankly ridiculous. $34.99 in the US or around £30 in the UK. So on the face of it, this stack looks like fantastic value for money. But how does it compare with the competition? Well, you've got the Speedy B F405 mini stack at around £57, if you can find one. It's more expensive, but depending on the features, it could justify the extra cost. And then there's a Spark Hobby F405 V3 60 amp stack, which is about 50 pounds. It's a higher amp ESC and it's probably better suited to heavier builds. And then you've got the new Speedy B F405 40 amp Blue Jay all in one. I reviewed that recently and it's only 41 pounds. It's a more sort of budget friendly all in one alternative really. So at around 30 pounds, this Oddity RC F405 Mini offers features 
at a much lower price, making it well worth considering for a budget build and possibly even for something a little bit higher end. Now, it also works with both Betaflight and iNav, which gives you flexibility depending on what flight features you prefer. And the Betaflight target though, isn't available in the configurator yet, but Oddity RC provide downloadable firmware for Betaflight 4.4.3 on their website. They also say they're working directly with the Betaflight and iNav dev teams to get official support, which is exactly the right thing to do. This compact footprint makes it a good fit for a three inch build, even a high performance four inch, or maybe even some lighter five inch quads. If you're planning to use it with a digital air unit like the DJI, you'll need to do the wiring yourself and solder all the connections. It's not really a big deal for experienced builders, but these days many people expect a JST plug and a simple cable connector for true plug and play. The Oddity RC website could also do with clearer connection diagrams and wiring info. SpeedyB is a great example of how to do this right. So, will this stack hold up and will I actually use it? Well, of course, only time will tell, but yes, I do plan to put this into a build and I'll report back if I find any issues. In fact, I'm tempted to do a full budget build around this stack. Now, I think that's a good idea. All the usual links are in the description below and let me know what you think of this in the comments. And if you found this useful, give it a like and subscribe. That would be very much appreciated. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.